For consumers to discover and select indexes in the sub query network, we plan to implement a discovery process, and that will be based on something similar to a, a Kademlia uh, DHT. Uh, we're still working on this. But essentially what this DHT network will provide is information about the subquery projects. Uh, so hashes for each project, um, and f sorry, project hashes for each indexer, so what projects that indexer provides data for. Um, and under that indexer, it'll list the endpoint URLs, uh, the current block that they've indexed, the s and the summary of the latest service reports. And this is a really important part. Um, so the latest serv service reports um, will ideally be provided by consumers when unlocking their uh, state channels, uh, their micropayments. And inside that uh, service performance report will be performance related data, latency, uh, um, uptime, um, you know, the speed that they got that data back. Um, and by basically aggregating and combining that, what we get is a picture of which index is the most performant. And so what that means is that um, our discovery process can prioritize indexes that are performant. Um, and we can route requests to indexes that are faster, uh, have better uptime, uh, have lower latency. And that's really important for our network, right? Additionally, indexes can restrict the geographical uh, area um, that they serve via IP address whitelisting or allow listing. And what that means is that we can encourage indexes to, rather than two or three large indexes covering the entire globe, what we want to essentially move towards is, is like a, a content distribution network, so a CDN in, in Web2 terms. Um, where you have lots of small indexes providing very localized service.